Today you're going to be taking a look at the Optronics LED Combination Tail Light Kit for trailers under 80 inches wide. Now it is available with just the driver side tail light as well as just the passenger side tail light. So here's what our trailer kit looks like once we have our lights installed. It is going to give us two combination tail lights that are going to have seven functions. Each light is going to give us our stop, turn, and tail lights, as well as a side marker, the side reflector, and a rear reflector. And then on the driver's side, we are going to have this illuminated area underneath lighting up our license plate light. The lights themselves are submersible, so they're going to be waterproof, which will be great for boat trailers or any trailers that are near a lot of water. Because inside the lens, the board is actually sealed, so it won't do any damage to the diodes inside if it does get wet. And since they do use LEDs inside, they're going to make great replacements because we're not going to have to worry about the bulbs to replace, any brittle filaments to break inside, they're going to be much brighter and use less energy. In fact, each one of our lights at 12.8 volts, the stop and turn is only going to use 0.268 amps, and the side markers are only going to use 0.059 amps. The passenger side light is going to have a total of 18 LEDs inside and the driver's side light is going to have a total of 23 LEDs and that's because it's going to have those extra ones for our license plate light. The license plate bracket itself is included so that way we can make sure we have our plate on our trailer, it's nice and legal and we can see the plate at night. Each one of our lights is going to have a polycarbonate housing as well as an acrylic lens. Now the LEDs on the inside are clear and the lens is going to be red. Our lights are going to come with all the hardware necessary and it is stainless steel so we're not going to have to worry about it rusting or corroding and causing problems down the road. The light itself is going to be just over 6 inches wide, about 3 and 5 eighths inches tall and 2 and a quarter inches deep. And it's going to be perfect for trailers that are under 80 inches wide. And our light kit is going to be DOT compliant. Our kit's going to come with a total of 25 feet of wire and it is going to provide us the four pole flat trailer connector. That way we can hook up to our towed vehicle. One thing I really like about the wiring harness itself is the fact that they made it to where we only have to run one set of wires to each side. We're not going to have to split off our tail light signal and run it over because we'll have our left turn and tail light signal and then a right turn and tail light signal here. So now that we've seen what our lights look like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how we put them on this trailer. To begin your installation, you're either going to want to remove the wiring that's on your trailer, or if you don't have any, I always suggest starting on the front. That way we know where our connector is going to be, and then we're going to have enough room to hook everything up. So we'll start at the front tongue by our coupler. Then we're going to focus on our white wire. That's going to be our ground. So we either need to find an existing hole that we can attach it to, or we can use a self-tapping screw and attach it directly to the metal. So I'm going to go ahead and strip back some of my white wire. I'm actually going to use a larger ring terminal than they give you in your kit, because there is already a hole right here. And I'll put the bolt back in there. But I'll make sure to crimp on my ring terminal. Solid connection there, and we'll take the bolt and we'll reinstall it with the ring terminal underneath. Now we're going to have two sets of wires. We're going to have a yellow and brown wire and a green and brown wire together. The yellow is going to be our left turn signal and the green is going to be our right turn signal and the brown is going to be our tail light signal. So we want to make sure we route the yellow wire to the back on the left side and the green wire to the back on the right side. Now everybody's going to route theirs a little bit different, so we want to make sure that they're not going to hang down below the frame and that they are protected when we route them back towards the tail light area. So I'll go ahead and run this and show you how we got it there. So we're over here on the driver's side of our trailer. And the way we ran our wires is we just followed along the driver's side frame rail, zip tying it, and using some clips to hold the wires up out of the way. And then once we got to the back here, we just ran our passenger side wire over to the other side. So with all your wires ran, you're going to want to get your lights ready. So this is our driver's side light since it has the yellow wire. And then also if you look on the bottom, it's going to have a light for our license plate light. If we look at the back side, we're going to have two channels. We're going to want to grab these carriage bolts. They'll have that little square on the head here. We're going to 
line it up with that channel and we'll just slide it in place. You want to do that for both sides. Slide the bolt in. We'll have a good secure mounting spot. Then we can take our license plate bracket. And you'll see it kind of has a little indent. And the two smaller holes line up. You just want to make sure that indent is facing the right direction. Because if you have it like this, you may be able to get it in place, but the license plate is going to be crooked and it's going to be interfering with the light. So we'll just pass it through. And depending on how you rounded your wires, you can either bring them up and go through the large hole in the center. And just make sure that your wires come through and that the holes are going through the bracket like that. You want to make sure you do that for both sides lights. Now on our trailer we already have spots opened up so we can mount our light up. So we can put our light up, but as you can see our bracket is going to interfere with the lower section where we're mounting our light. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our light through the holes going through the bracket and then we'll put our bracket on the back side. That way we can still have our license plate mounting up and it'll be lit up right here. And to secure everything down, we're going to take a split lock washer and a hex nut to make sure everything's in place. And we'll do that for both studs. And that's also how we're going to mount our other passenger side light, except we won't have to worry about the bracket. Now on the back of our light, we'll have three wires, one for our turn signal, one for our tail light signal, and one for our ground. That's going to be really easy because our wire is going to be color for color and then we'll just hook our ground wire to a good chassis ground. Now in our kit they're going to provide us some, some quick splices however since this is on the outside of a trailer and it is exposed to the elements I'm not going to be using these. I'm going to change them out and I'm going to use some heat shrink butt connectors and just trim off the excess wire and make connections directly. That way it's a little bit more solid and it'll have a little bit more protection against the elements. So we'll take our wire. You can always estimate about how much we're going to need. I always like to give myself a little bit of extra that way I can just tie up the excess. But I'll cut my wire, get rid of the excess, then we'll just separate our brown and yellow wire and grab it, pull them apart, and just take a pair of cutters and go right in the center. Just be careful not to damage the rest of the wire. Strip back the end of each one of our yellow wires. Take one of our butt connectors, crimp it in place. And we can connect the other end. our other wire. And we'll just go back and we'll repeat that for our brown wire and we can hook up our ground as well. I'm going to shrink down my connectors to make sure they have a good seal. So I make sure you don't burn or char the connectors if you're using an open flame. I'm going to take my ground wire now and I'm actually just going to attach it directly to the frame here and be using a self-tapping screw. You just want to make sure that ring terminal is not going to be moving around. And with the left side hooked up, we can go ahead and do the same thing over on the passenger side. And once everything's hooked up, you can come back with a 10 millimeter socket and snug up the hardware. Then we can take some time, we'll clean up our wires, and we can put our license plate back on. Now the final step in our wiring is to make sure that all the circuits are working properly. So I hooked up my trailer. You can see that my taillight function is working, as well as the left turn signal, my brake signal, and the right turn signal. All we have left to do now is hook up and hit the road. That'll finish up your look at the Optronics LED Combination Taillight Kit for trailers under 80 inches wide.